Hi, my name is Rahul Gawai and today we will see how to add drone images into RGS Pro or, or how to geotag uh, drone images in RGS Pro. So I have some images already I have downloaded from uh, drone deploy so, um, applications. So here, if you see here, there is uh, 142 images, uh, which is this one. If you click on any points, then we can see this uh, this image is on this particular place. Okay, so now, but in if you go to RGS Pro, you cannot see like this um, the images directly. Okay, so we have to uh, geotag uh, that particular images because and all images I will show you that uh, there is some information related to the um, this all images. Okay, so if you right click any images then we will find the information about the uh, x and y uh, location okay so if you click on details and if you go to downs then we will find this information which is gps informations uh, there is uh, uh, latitude and longitude information as well as uh, uh, like a z value which is elevation information uh, in this particular images but if you want to show these images into rgs pro uh, with the with the points so then we have to use geotag to photo strip points okay so i have this images uh, in uh, in this particular folder i will copy this folder first okay and now i will start uh, rgs pro uh, which is already i have on this uh, this project here okay after this opening uh, you have to click on this analysis tab and click on the tools uh, here we'll find the uh, geotag okay so this tools we, you are using for um, adding drone images uh, into RGS Pro and we can create a points out of that okay so just we have to click here and in the geo, uh, geo processing we will see there is one input folder and output feature class and uh, we have to make invalid photo tables okay so you will create automatically which images are invalidated okay so first i will uh, um, access that particular uh, folder here this we have to click on input folder and i will give the input folder i will paste that part already i have copied geotag drone uh, images folders i will give the, uh, this particular folder to an input folder okay and then click on done okay so now this is my output uh, feature class this particular uh, um, images and if you want like uh, um, tables okay i will put uh, drone table okay something like that and uh, okay so if you want to attach all uh, all the images to the this particular points so then we can um, check on this box if you want to include non geotag photo which is not uh, geotag is also uh, also include uh, there okay so but it is not geotag and then if you click on the run options then all images will be automatically uh, create one points on the map and respect with the they have shown the this particular uh, particular images uh, we, are, we will see how uh, it can be done okay so it will take while for because i have so many images uh, around uh, 50 images okay so already geotag uh, done if you close this your geo processing uh, tab then we will see this is the um, this is place that same uh, as i shown uh, earlier which is this particular place okay uh, if you do if you want to add a base map uh, like satellite base map then you can add a satellite base map then you can um, see the clearly that images for the test particular locations if you click on this any particular uh, points or any particular uh, icon so we will see here this is the images uh, this particular uh, locations uh, here we will see the information uh, related to that particular points and uh, see this is the path if you click on this particular image it will be op open in another tab which is uh, uh, it's normal photo we are opening okay 
let's close this one and we'll see this is uh, information related to the this particular points if you open the attribute table uh, we can find the um, the information related to that particular uh, images so we will see here uh, this is shape which is z value because this is there is z value to, to these particular points and this is a path for your images and this is id okay and date for capturing this particular images and we will see the x y and z uh, column which is uh, uh, longitude and latitude information or as well as uh, uh, the elevation information of uh, this particular uh, images so uh, this is uh, the uh, how we can add the all the images into rgs pro okay and we can create the points of the all the images uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, tutorial